Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just another pickups video for you. I am out in the shed, which, hang on, is also known as my man cave. Uh, my everybody was nice enough to pick this up for me, so that I can actually put it up on the on the front over there. The pickups from this week were good and bad, weirdly enough. Now some of them I already had. Some of them just, they were complete, so I picked up a complete copy to replace the old copy. Let's go ahead and start with the ones that I found at one of my local thrift stores. Now I picked up three games, and they're all PlayStation games. Uh, two of them I already had, but these are in much better condition, so I went ahead and picked them up. Uh, one is Tomb Raider for 99 cents. I already had it, but this copy is in uh, very beautiful condition, so I decided that I would rather have that. The other one that I already had, but I only had the games, had to print out my own sleeve, is Resident Evil 2. And it's got the manual and all of the sleeves in there and all the discs are in really great shape. Mine are a little eh. But for those of you who don't know, I live in Texas, and Texas is... 100 degrees plus, which I believe I calculated out to be like 38 degrees centigrade for those of you in either ocean or across either ocean. But the last one that I got, 102 Dalmatians, Puppies to the Rescue. And didn't have it, decided to pick it up. Now I ordered two things off of Amazon and they both came in. I was real happy. They came in really quick, so kudos to you Amazon for actually shipping things faster than what you told me you were going to. The first one is this little guy. And this is a Skylander, and his name is Drobot. And we've been playing with him today in Skylanders, and he is absolutely amazing. By the way, really quick tip. If you put your Skylander disc in, and the loading times just seem horrible. Like, like two minutes. Go ahead and pop the disc out and turn it over and look at the back. I almost guarantee you there are going to be about five million kid fingerprints on the other side. Pro tip. The other thing that I got, uh, I paid $2.48 for this, and that is a brand new copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. For the Game Boy Color. Uh, I actually like the Tony Hawk Pro Skater and portables are just the way that I'm actually getting time to play anymore because I do have time while waiting for my computer to boot up, on my lunch, on my break. I actually have time and even though technically I could bring a system into work, I'm pretty sure they would frown on it. The next stop that I made was, and this is only, actually it's not gaming related anyways, I just want to show it because it's cool. Half Price Books, and I made another trip back there later on, had He-Man and Masters of the Universe, uh, the first ten episodes of the new cartoon, the one that came out a few years ago, uh, for five bucks. So I went ahead and picked it up. My sons and I are going to sit and watch this probably tomorrow if we get time. Uh, but I don't know what else we're going to do. Uh, my wife's thinking about baking a roast, so we might go over to... Anyways. Way off topic. The other things that I picked up. And these come from two different places. Let me go ahead and get these organized. So, the first three came from a local store that I go to. Now, I've let a few people know about it, but I'm not going to throw it out there for everybody. But I picked up three games. First one's Family Feud. Bring on the feud. And it's for the Genesis and it's actually in like I I know you guys can't see it or maybe you can. But it's I don't know where the case was, but I bet you this lived in a case up until it got to them. The other one that I picked up was Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer Type 4. Now I want to show you something weird about this. Go ahead and set all these other things down. And maybe someone can tell me if this looks a little weird or not. Now, 
right there is disc one. And it says that, you know, that's disc one. On the back it says it comes with two discs. Now the other disc that's in here just says that it's Ridge Racer Disc 2. It doesn't say Ridge Racer Type 4 anywhere on it. So I don't know if that's the same one or not. Uh, if it is, please someone let me know uh, so that I know that I actually do have a complete copy. Uh, also, uh, no, I'll save that. And then there was this one. Lonely guy, didn't have a cover on him. And this is Aquanauts Holiday. And it was for 90, 95 cents. Now, I instantly plugged it into my, the little app I use on my phone to keep track of my collection, and it said that this is now the rarest PS1 game that I have. Which I thought was odd. Now, it might just be that Aquanauts Holiday didn't have a big print run, so it didn't go anywhere. I don't know who it was made by. So that's, that's that. I haven't had a chance to look at those. Uh, but I went back to Half Price Books because they were having a they're having a birthday celebration because I guess they've been around for a while. So what they did is everything that's a dollar clearance is now forty cents. So I bought a crap load of books. Most of them have nothing to do with video games, so I won't bother showing you with them. Uh, the things that I did pick up two games. One is uh, Star Wars Jedi Power Battles for the Dreamcast, which I had this a long time ago, and I ended up selling it. And I regretted that, because as soon as I sold it, I remembered that it's two-player. And I have a severe lack of two-player games on the Dreamcast, uh, just because most of them are fighting games, which me playing against my son really isn't fair to him. Because he is four? But he really loves the Dreamcast, so he plays Max Steel all day long. And the last one that I picked up uh, was $2.99, and I picked it up purely because I looked at it and went, you know what, never heard of it before. Left my phone out in the car to charge, and just decided, you know what, I'll take a chance on it. And that is Dual Heroes. So, know nothing about that game. And the last thing that I went to was Trader's Village went out to Trader's Village and was looking for a lawnmower. They need a new lawnmower. And I don't have a big enough lawn to rationalize buying a brand new $80 to $100 lawnmower. So I go over there to the flea market, pick up a used one. And it works. In case you don't know, Texas, the, at least the area that I live in, really, really dry. So we don't get a lot of rain. So our yard doesn't grow very fast. There are months in the year where I only mow once a month. Now, for those of you who are into engines, you know that it's not good for an engine to only run once a month. You're supposed to run it fairly often. The reason that your car does so well is because it runs all the time. So nothing gets, nothing settles, nothing goes old. You're constantly refilling and redoing everything. It's also why you're supposed to change your oil every 3,000 miles or so. But, Trader's Village found just a bizarre thing. And I thought since I just got done playing Batman that I, I couldn't help but laugh, so I had to pick it up. And it is the Newbie Boomerang 64. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. One of the weirdest controllers that I have, I have seen in a long time. Now it does have a slow-mo and turbo and all that fun stuff. And the weirdest thing, the really, really weird thing, is it actually takes batteries. It takes AAA batteries. What's wrong with you? AAA batteries. When's the last time you bought a AAA battery? See? But it's it, it actually does feel kind of good. And I can imagine playing, you know, Killer Instinct Gold whenever I get it, or play a lot of the fighting games that are on the 64, because it's got a nice, I mean, it, it's it's nice, it's big, and it, I've got big meaty hands, and it fits, feels really good, unless we have to go to the D-pad. And if the D-pad's involved, it just isn't happening. But, that's what I picked up uh, this week. I've also been sorting through 
uh, that big box that I bought and been kind of going through, putting some things up on sale, uh, giving some away. It's just, oh man, it's the never, it is the never ending box of video games. Some of them I'm keeping and playing. For instance, after this video, I'm going to go play some Pools of Radiance. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!